Hello and welcome to GD Life at Parts with teacher Alex and today's subject is GD Science, the topic Forms of Energy and Energy Transfer. A quick overview, we will talk about what energy is, the different forms of energy, energy transfer and mechanical energy of objects, specifically kinetic and gravitational potential energy. Energy can be defined as the ability to do work and work done, uh, work is done when energy is transferred. There is another lesson on work done and power. Turning a light bulb on and running a mile both require energy, but not the same kind of energy. Energy grouped in, is grouped into two main categories, kinetic energy or the energy of motion and potential energy or stored energy. These two main categories of energy can exist in many different forms, including the types that are listed on the right here. Kinetic energy, energy of motion, include the subtypes of thermal energy, energy moving in the form of heat, moving particles. Mechanical energy, the energy of objects in motion, we will have a closer look at that later on. Electrical energy, the energy of charged particles, specifically electrons through a wire. Magnetic energy, energy causing pushes or pulls. Sound energy and light energy can be both considered as kinetic energy as well, and these are forms of energy that we can experience in different ways. Forms of potential energy are chemical energy. These are This is a form of energy that is stored in chemical bonds. Foods and fuels contain usually large amounts of chemical energy. Elastic energy is a form of stored energy in object, objects that are stretched. Nuclear energy is the energy stored in the center of atoms, in the nucleus of atoms. And gravitational potential energy is the energy stored in an object when it is above the Earth's surface due to its position. The law of conservation of energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can, however, be converted or transferred from one form to another. For example, during photosynthesis, plants convert light energy to chemical energy. When you walk, run, or perform any kind of motion, the chemical energy from your food from the food that you ate is converted to kinetic energy in your cells, in your muscle cells, to make you move. Some of the chemical energy from your food is also converted to thermal energy as your body releases heat. Another typical energy of continuous energy transfer from one form to another is a swinging pendulum. At the highest point, the pendulum has maximum amount of gravitational potential energy and its velocity is zero. It changes direction and swings back. It speeds up while on the way down and when in the lowest position it has the maximum kinetic energy. It swings up again and gains gravitational potential energy. To the highest point where the pendulum stops has the maximum amount of gravitational potential energy and no kinetic energy until it turns around. We have continuous energy transfer. For sure a pendulum won't swing forever since there are other forces at work, there's friction, so some of the energy is transferred to the air particles around the pendulum due to the air resistance and to the parts in which or through which the pendulum, the ball, is suspended. The mechanical energy of an object is its motion and position relative to the Earth's surface. The mechanical energy of an object can be found by knowing the object's kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. Below are the formulas how to find the gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy of an object. The gravitational potential energy can be found by knowing the mass, the gravitational field strength of the planet we are on, which is 9.8 newton per kilogram for planet Earth, and the difference in height the object moved. If an object moves up relative to Earth's surface, 
it increases its gravitational potential energy. If it moves down, it decreases its gravitational potential energy. The kinetic energy of an object can be found by multiplying the mass of the object, or half the mass of the object, times its velocity squared. Let's have a look at this example. A bicycle starts at the top of a hill where it has high gravitational potential energy and zero kinetic energy. As it runs down the hill, its gravitational potential energy gets lower since its height relative to Earth's surface decreases and it speeds up. Gravitational potential energy changes to kinetic energy. At the lowest point, the bike has the highest kinetic energy and no more gravitational potential energy. It climbs up the hill again and gains gravitational potential energy while it slows down and loses kinetic energy until it reaches the highest point again and the gravitational potential energy is high and the kinetic energy low. Note that the law of conservation of energy must be fulfilled and is applied here. That means at any point of the journey the total amount of energy remains the same. Let's have a look at some questions. How much potential energy does a 61.2 kilogram boy have if he is sitting on his bed 0.5 meters above the floor? These are the quantities that we know. We know the mass, we know the gravitational field strength of Earth, which is a constant value, it's always 9.8 newton per kilogram, and we know the relative height the boy is at 0 0.5 meters relative to the floor. We use the gravitational potential energy formula, mass times gravity times difference in height. That is 61.2 times 9.8 times 0 0.5 and this will give us 299.88 joules. Another question. What is the kinetic energy of a 6 kilogram curling stone sliding at 4 meters per second? You can try this by yourself. You can pause the video and resume when you think you have the correct answer. So first, what do we know? We know that the mass is 6 kilogram and the velocity is 4 meters per second. We know that the formula for kinetic energy is a half times the mass times velocity squared. We fill in the values, half times 6 times 4 squared, and this will give us 48 joules of kinetic energy. This was GD Live at PALS with teacher Alex for another GD Science screencast on the topic, forms of energy and energy transfer.